Hi everyone, welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the capital of the E-Tribe. Thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you for your love, thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for loving yourself. Thank you for taking time to be self-aware, mindful. Thank you for healing. Thank you for choosing to become your best version. Thank you for choosing to nurture yourself, love yourself, be patient with yourself. Thank you for sharing your empathy, compassion, and grace, and love with the world, with the collective. Thank you for adding value to the collective. Thank you for being an asset and not a liability. Thank you for being an asset and not a liability. Thank you for choosing to continue to be on this path of self-enlightenment, self-awareness. Although it gets challenging sometimes, you are still choosing to be here to continue to keep going, continue to overcome adversity, continue to overcome challenges. You are building character. You are building perspective. You are seeing things from a higher perspective. You are building perseverance, courage, bravery, fearlessness. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Eternally grateful for you, eternally grateful for all that you are, for you just being here, for you being authentic, unique, and individual. Thank you. My name is Nicole. It is a true honor and pleasure to be here with you, to help you, to serve you, to assist you on your journey, connect with you in this way. Sending you love, hugs. This is a big hug from me to you. Kisses. I love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I just want to start this reading. Um, I was fully planning on doing another topic and this topic of hidden enemies kept coming up. So I wanted to do this topic because, well, I was really getting called to do it because I really, you know, these readings, they can be very low vibrational in terms of like the energy tapping into the different energies and I'm a channel and so I feel those things very deeply and I'm very empathic. So. I don't always like to do these type of readings, although I feel like they're very necessary, okay? So as I was being called to do this, um, you know, I just want to talk about really briefly just the fact of the warfare that we are facing here, okay? We are, you know, spiritual warfare is ongoing and the fight for our soul, the fight for our divinity, the fight for our purity is always on the line each and every day. You know, we have social media, we have, you know, the world, whatever you want to call it, the times that we're living in. And this is not to create fear, but this is just to create more awareness around, like, the things that are happening, the food that we eat, the things that we drink, the things that we choose to feed our mind with, our habits, um, again, social media, things on the internet, things on these apps. This is about that spiritual warfare. But in terms of hidden enemies, the intention for this reading is to bring that awareness of who is really in your corner and who is not. You know, as we move along on our journey, sometimes the people that we feel we could trust, the people that we feel is, is rooting for us are really not. And it may be a situation where they may not be intentionally not rooting for us, but because their energy, their lights are off. You know, they're not shining their light. They're not in their power. They don't really know themselves. They can subconsciously be projecting that energy onto us to block us, to stop us from moving on this path of moving forward, of, of upward mobility. See, already they don't want me to talk. You know, I need to, let me, I have my scarf here. I'm, I'm not messing around with this because, no, I'm not going to get caught slipping with this energy. I'm telling you, it can get very intense. It can be very dark. So I'm going to veil, veil up for this reading because I'm not, it's not going to do this. I'm not going to play these games. But, you know, in terms of things like this, 
in terms of things like this, you know, we have to just be very present, very aware, very um, aware of the individuals that we decide to surround ourselves with, but also just like um, aware that everyone is not on the same page as you and everyone is not meant to go where you are going. And when people are not shining their light the way that they're supposed to be shining, they can project that energy onto you in a subconscious manner that can, you know, create blockages for you moving forward. And sometimes you have to put certain boundaries up with those individuals in order for you to continue to move forward the way you're supposed to move forward. Say, for example, you know, you have a family member, a good friend, even a, you know, romantic partner that can happen with that too. If that person is not in their power, they're not shining their light, you know, they're not in this place of like they know themselves, things like that, you know, they can create subconscious blockages and barriers for you, you know, that can really kind of like slow down your progress. And you may not even know. It may be an unknowing situation. Okay, just bear with me as I get this right, because I'm just trying to get this to look the way I want it to look. So, you know, just being very mindful of that. This is about the intention for this reading is to bring you that like awareness for who is around you, who's really with you, and who's really for you. You know, people that watch my channel, I love you all. Welcome back to the Capital L O V tribe. I don't know if I said that. I love you all. We are on this path of making a change here on earth. We're not playing around, you know? We're getting the knowledge, we're getting the wisdom, we're getting that clarity of what we need to do to move forward. We're not letting people stop us anymore. We're not here for that, you know? We're just not having it. So you need to know who is really with you and who is not, because many of you who watch this channel, you are a leader too. There are many leaders that watch this channel. You know, I'm a leader, you're a leader, we connect in that way. You want to know what's up too, and you really want to know, like, is this job an enemy? Is this boss an enemy? Is this lover an enemy? You know what I'm saying? Are they a they? You know? Is this family member an enemy? You really need to tap in. We're going to find out. We really need to know. And this is not to say that, again you know, you need to cut these individuals off. But, I mean, that's your choice. But having those boundaries, you're not going to allow them to know certain things about you. You're not going to allow them in certain spaces with you because you cannot trust that energy. And when you start putting those boundaries up, then these individuals can get on board with this fight, with this warfare, whatever, you know, you have going on, whatever it is you're trying to build. Because the warfare can show up in so many different ways. You know, there's warfare in building generational wealth. You know, people don't want certain people to have generational wealth. They want people to be stuck. So, you know, warfare can show up in so many different ways, okay? And it's about keeping your vision tight, right, and your eye on the prize, and you knowing what's up and what's going on around you. Pow one. Secret enemies for power one, okay? See how this keeps coming down? See, this, this energy is starting already, I'm telling you. Last time I did, I have to do this because sometimes I get psychically attacked. And you know, I'm not dimming my light. And I'm not stopping what I'm here to do. These people want to try to psychically attack me all they want. They keep trying. I'm surrounded, okay? So... But I'm just doing my part with adding some extra, this cloak of protection that I have here. Pile one, secret enemies for pile one, please. Okay, sea turtle. And I'm going to put all of the cards together um, for pile selection. Okay, so if you want to just skip to that part, feel free. If you want to just hang out, that's cool too. Pile two, secret enemies for pile two. Secret hidden enemies for pile two, please. Stick upside down. Okay, owl. Pile three. Secret hidden enemies for pile three, please. Pile three. 
snow leopard. Okay. Pile selection will have all three cards together. So you can see all three cards together. Timestamps will be linked below. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, that information is linked below as well. Thank you. I love you. I will see you in your reading. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital LOV tribe. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. Thank you for loving yourself. Thank you for choosing to heal and become more self-aware and more enlightened. You chose Sea Turtle. My name is Nicole. Let's get into this, okay? Who are your secret hidden enemies? Okay. <clears throat> you chose a turtle, so this person could be kind of slimy. I'm getting like this, like, because this turtles are reptiles. So I'm getting like this, just like, um, it could be a water sign too. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. It does not have to be. Um, it also could be a Leo or Virgo or someone born in the month of August. This person could just have some slimy ways. I'm hearing like um, sleazy, slimy. This person could have a child. This person could have a daughter um, or a son. It doesn't matter. But they could have like a young child. This person. This person has some um, emotional challenges or mental health challenges, or like they can get, they can deal with depression. They can, this could be a feminine energy, but again, it doesn't have to be. If this is not a feminine, like a female, this is a masculine, a man with a lot of female tendencies. Like this is a, masculine that could be gossipy manipulative um just have like a lot of feminine ways about them okay um but this person deals with like mental health challenges this person deals with like um you know they deal with like they may like get depressed easily they may sleep a lot when they're depressed, they may not really take care of themselves. Like they don't really groom themselves too well. They don't clean themselves too well. Like they may miss like taking showers or baths um, because they get depressed. Like I'm definitely getting that this person deals with like emotional imbalances and like um, depression. Okay, I'm definitely getting that. Um, this person is definitely a hidden enemy. Um, I don't. Do okay, we're gonna get some more cards. Do I feel like this person is like trying to hurt you? No, I don't. What I'm feeling like is this person is very jealous, they get very jealous, and because they get very jealous, they you know they may send the evil eye, or you know, they can kind of you know just be like that low key hater. Like, you know, things are going well and they kind of say something kind of slick out of their mouth. I'm getting this person has a slick mouth, you know. This person also, I'm getting air energy. So I'm getting Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But let's see if you have more or like, you know, let's find out what else is going on here. I feel like this person, you know, they definitely deal with like depression or anxiety like they have really bad anxiety or really bad depression this person may be codependent on like drugs or alcohol to kind of like get through because I'm definitely getting that this person could sleep a lot or this person goes through like varying moods like they could be really really high really really up and then when they go down it's like really really low really really down um they just kind of like struggle with that Okay, three of pentacles. So you could work with this person, okay? And if you do not work with this person, this could be like a former coworker, 
Um, I'm definitely getting someone, I'm not getting like a person in a leadership role, but you know, you take what applies for you. If that's what's resonating for you, just go with that. But what I'm getting here is like this person you've worked with them before, like they could be like on your same level, like they could be a former coworker, um, a former collaborator, someone that you've done work with before. Okay. And this person, what I'm feeling like is, is like, this person could have Capricorn placements as well. This person feels like you outshine them. Okay. Like, I feel like you could be the Capricorn. This person kind of just feels like you are just more competent. You're more swift. You're better with reasoning or you're better with like, you have a stronger work ethic or you're more disciplined, something like that. This person just feels like you have that edge, okay? And you're able to shine differently from them. They're not able to um, be as, you know, whatever your skill set is, your talents, your abilities, they feel like you are able to tap into that better than they are. You know, they, they may feel that they're talented, gifted or whatever, but there's something that you kind of edge them out. And for some of you, I feel like it's the work ethic or it's the discipline or it's just like the way you manage your time. Because I do feel like this person is gifted and I do feel like that this person knows that they're gifted, but I feel like there's something that you have that edge and that helps you to shine in a different way and they feel like, you know, they may have even been in competition with you and you may not have even really known. Pile one, secret and hidden enemies. Who's pile one, secret and hidden enemies? And you know what? For some of you, this could be three people. Three of pentacles, it could be three people, but that's not gonna be for everyone. Now this came out in the reverse, okay? But I turned it upright, twin flame. Now this could be someone, I'm picking up on a different energy now. This could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, I'm getting, or a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be someone that you were in a relationship with or you had a very strong connection with. You thought maybe this could have been the person like you thought was your one or you thought you were going to be with or, you know, like you just thought that you and this person would be together or you had a romantic relationship with this person and it ended really badly or it was the situation where things got really toxic, things were gossipy, things were, you know, things really just got out of control. And so what I'm getting here is this person is really they're really jealous some of you have moved on to a new connection or some of you are just if you're even if you're not in a new connection they see you shining they see you doing better without them this person wanted you to crumble fall down they wanted you to come back to them for some of you it's like they wanted you to still be with them they wanted you to um you know, come back to them crying, begging to be back with them. This person does not want to see you with someone else. They don't even want to see you doing well on your own. So this person is definitely, you know, hating in the background. Um, this person gets very jealous, even if this person doesn't come across as a jealous individual, because I am getting for some of you, like, this person doesn't really show much emotion or they try to appear as though they're not phased, they're not bothered, things like that. This person is very jealous. This person gets very angry. This person, they hide their emotions, okay? They're not, you know, they're not that type of outward emotional person. Even if this person is a fire sign, they don't outwardly show emotions. They may have an earth moon or, you know, something like that. I am getting earth energy here for some of you. This person does a great job with hiding their emotions, okay? So they may drink to cope or they may talk about you. I'm getting for some of you, like they talk badly about you, they gossip about you. Um, and I'm also getting, again, they drink. They drink and they think about you and they get upset. For some of you, they still look at your pictures. Um, they obsess over your pictures. For some of you, it's like they still want to be with you, okay? So it's like, it's not an enemy per se. I'm not seeing that this person's like doing spells on you or like spell work, but I'm just seeing that like they're talking about you or when they think about you, they get angry and 
you know, that that's that energy, but I'm not getting those, like, they wish bad on you. Some of you may be like, no, no, Nicole, I know that they don't, like, I know they wish bad on me. So, okay, you go with that, but, you know, that person is coming up. And I do definitely feel like you may have even thought this person was your twin flame for some of you, you know, if you identify with that. Everyone doesn't identify with that label. So some of you may have thought like, oh, you know, that was my twin flame. And you found out later that it really wasn't. It could have been a false twin flame or the connection just, you know, wasn't what you thought or something like that. But this person... They're definitely jealous and they're definitely wanting to still be with you, wanting to still be in your energy. Power one, secret and hidden enemies for power one. Is this deck upside down? Okay, so the fool. So this gives an Aries energy, okay? This person could be an Aries. Like I said, for some of you, I'm getting three different people here. And for some of you, this is one person, okay? This could be just like the same person that we've been talking about. But what I'm getting here is like, you are able to restart your life. You're able to tap into new energies, have a new beginning. For some of you, this is like career related. You've been able to move on to a new um, a new career. Let's see, it's like, when we do these readings, decks be flying. It's like these energies are kind of crazy, okay? Because I am getting for some of you, especially with this like cartwheel, some of these energies are a bit chaotic or is something about like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. For some of you, like these individuals or this individual hides their emotions very well. They come across as very composed. They come across as having it all together. They come across as like, if this is a relationship, like... I don't need power one. I'm not tripping off of power one. I've moved on. Like they come across like that, but on the inside, you know, this individual or these people, even if this is a job situation, this coworker, whatever, they're really, you know, they get angry. They get jealous. They get upset. For some of you, it's like, um, if this is a former lover, like this lover still thinks about you in an intimate way. Like they still daydream about you or dream about your body or dream about how they were with you, you know. Um, for some of you, I'm also getting that like if this was um, a coworker, it's like they still think about like the things that you, how you did certain things and like they're trying to like copy you or mimic you or, you know, tap into how you solve certain problems or how you did certain things stuff like that like it's like i'm getting here guys that it's like <laughs> with these energies i'm kind of getting that like these individuals come across again like they have everything together but on the inside it's some really like shifty unstable energy there I, I really am picking that up like some of these individuals can be very unstable okay and some of these individuals like they even have like a it's like a dangerous energy with them like it's almost like for some of you it's like they drink and they kind of turn into a different person and when they drink they think about you and they get very angry like very angry and it's almost like you know if they talk about you to people people are like well what did power one do to you like some people are like they don't some people are listening and they don't really get like why this person or these individuals are so angry or so upset because they could start to see this person or these people unraveling because again these individuals or this person they have this exterior that they present like they don't have emotions or they just present like they're just a solid figure they don't get sad they don't feel anything but when they think about you especially if they're drinking it just starts to un like they start to break down and the real them comes out which again for some of you can be very unstable someone could have an aries moon or this person has an Aries rising, like this person can get very angry, they can even throw things, okay, for some of you, because some of you, again, this is a former lover, so this person, like, they throw stuff at the wall when they think about you, but, like, no one would know, 
everyone would see this person and people would think like, no way this person would act like that. But you probably know how one, you probably know exactly what I'm talking about. But, you know, this person or these people just have this other side to them. And and they think about you, they get very angry. Okay, so just, you know, your perspective, but just, you know, be mindful of this. Just be careful because this energy is very unstable. Why are they jealous of Pawan? These individuals feel like you're very abundant, okay? You are extremely abundant. You're wealthy. You're rich. Your energy, your mind, your body, your soul. You know how to make money. You know how to, you're a stable individual. You know, people... These individuals feel like you're blessed. They feel like you're very favored. They feel like you're just extremely abundant. For some of you, if this again is a former lover, they felt like you were their good luck charm. You were the one that helped bring them the luck or the peace or the good vibes or you know whatever. Like you helped them to win. You helped them to look good, okay? Um, they feel like, like I said, for some of you, is like they see you winning without them. And that makes them really angry because for some of you, these individuals or this individual feels like they made you or they're the ones that put you on or they're the ones that got you shining. They're the ones that set you up to be a certain way. And so the fact that you're not with them and you're doing better, that really angers them. How long? Why are they jealous of how long, please? Yeah, see, they're left out here in despair, you know, like if this is a former colleague, this person is not able to, they miss the way that they saw you doing things, they miss the way that you operated, your work ethic, your vibe, your essence. This is a former lover. They miss you. Like I said, for some of you, this person still thinks about you intimately, thinks about not just intimately, but also like laughing with you, vibing with you, talking with you, having fun with you. Like for some of you, this person is still stuck. Like they're still stuck in your energy, meaning like the old you, not like where you are now, but like they're still stuck in the relationship that they have with you, okay? They haven't been able to really move on, but I do feel again, they are presenting to the world as if they don't care about you, they moved on, um, you know, they could care less, but they that's not true. You know, the world does not know the truth about what this person hides behind their exterior, okay? Um, how can you protect yourself? Let's find that out. How can you protect yourself? <sighs> These cards keep falling. I'm telling you, this person is like a train wreck. Like, this is some really, I feel some very unstable energy. That's why I said be careful. Like, you know, some of you may still have a connection with this person. Just be careful when you deal with them because this person can be very unstable. And like I said, they may have anxiety. Or depression or something like that so just be very careful how can you protect yourself your um intuition so protect like your knowing like i feel like for many of you this is just confirming what you already knew you know you already knew this person was still angry or you know jealous of you had their issues with you you already know this continue to protect yourself energetically too continue to protect your psychic abilities your spiritual abilities you know taking care of yourself spiritually honoring your psychic health your boundaries your energetic boundaries if you feel like this person is trying to creep into your dreams at night or you know like envision yourself in this bubble this bubble of light before you go to sleep. And even if it's certain things like during the day, you feel like this person is trying to invade on you, put yourself in that bubble of light. Keep yourself protected. Take your spiritual baths. If you have crystals, do your staging, things like that. And like having those boundaries with this person, like, like I said, for some of you, this person can get very, is very unstable. So if you have to deal with this person, just be very mindful and careful of the way you speak to them, the way you interact with them. Um, because again, they could be, it's almost like a flip of a switch. 
they can just go down this crazy path and kind of like lose it. Because for some of you, this person finds you to be that kryptonite or that thing that gets them whatever, gets them worked up, gets them all out of control. Like they feel very out of control when it comes to you. Okay. And I do feel for some of you, this person may have been controlling over you. Like they were controlling you at some point in your journey. And now they, they know they have no control over you. How can you protect yourself? Water is going to be really helpful for you to keep you safe and protected. Set that intention over your water when you drink it to protect you. Also, again, your spiritual baths, cleansing yourself in the water, cleansing your energy, um, putting the salts, you know, the bath salts in your water, but continuing to grow and transform from this person. Because for many of you, this is saying like the more you grow spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, say for example, this person was very manipulative. They manipulated you to think that you needed them, that you were no one without them, that, you know, you would be nowhere. You know, they did a lot of like trickery and manipulation with you heal that. The more you heal that, the more you take your power back, the more this person doesn't have that power and control over you. They cannot um, control your mind because I do feel for some of you, this person manipulated your mind. You know, if this is a work situation, they tried to make you feel like you couldn't get a better job or, you know, this was all that it was for you. Things like that. They kind of said things to try to get into your mind. So the more you heal and transform, the more you take your power back. This is also saying step into your power. The more you step into your power, the more this person will go away. This person will not be on your timeline. This person will not be in your energy because you're more powerful than them. And you know that now. Like in the past, I'm not saying you thought that person was more powerful, but in the past, you probably didn't, you weren't as confident or, you know, you had some, you may have had some confidence, but you are not where you are now. You've grown a lot. You know, this was a lot of lessons through this connection. So the more you step into your power, your high level of confidence, who you really are, remembering who you are, your divinity, your purity, the more this person cannot attack you because it's like anything that, they try to send your way is going to bounce back onto them. And that's really how it works. You know, that's how you really protect yourself. Being in your power, owning your power, loving yourself, confident, fearless, you know. Let's get some affirmations for you. I never fail me. Never fail yourself, okay? You depend on yourself. You depend on God, source, the most high, your spiritual team, spirit, whatever you resonate with. Depend on that and don't fail yourself and keep going for you, okay? Look at this. I am divine and fine. You are. Own that. Own how divine you are. Own how beautiful you are. How handsome you are. How loving you are. How courageous you are. How much you've grown. You know, if you were in a situation where this person was manipulating you and had completely had you in this different state of consciousness, like you didn't even know who you were. For some of you, I do feel that, that like you had to regroup completely after this relationship. Celebrate yourself on how much you've grown from this. I am God's child. You are highly favored, highly protected, loved, cared for. You have nothing to worry about. Walk in your protection. Own your divinity, own your purity, love yourself. If no one told you they love you today, I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Love yourself, honor yourself, take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself, nurture yourself. Continue to heal, grow, transform. Thank you for shining your light. Thank you for being here. I love you. I'll see you next time. Hi, Paul, too. Welcome. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-B-E tribe. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. My name is Nicole. I'm so grateful that you are here. Thank you for showing up for yourself. You chose Owl. Okay, let's tap in. Who are your hidden enemies or secret enemies? So it could be four people. Okay, 
Um, does not have to be, this person could be an Aries, could be a Taurus, it could be someone with a life half number four, or someone born on the fourth of the month that they're born. Well, four is just like significant here. So like I said, this could be four people. It could be also a Cancer or someone that you grew up with, like someone in your family, a brother, a sister I'm hearing for some of you, or someone like a childhood friend, someone that you grew up with. Um, this person, um, I'm definitely getting for some of you, this person is wise, okay? This person is someone like an old soul or like someone that seems to be very intuitive. Um, Hmm. For some of you, this is like someone that you called a brother, okay? Like someone that you were really close with, but like you were really close with this person. Like you really trusted this person. This person had like this purity to them, um, but this person has changed, okay? This person is not who they used to be. Something has compromised this individual. Something has, you know, and, I, and I'm getting one person right now, but again, this could be four people. For some of you, this person has banded people together to go against you, okay? Like, say for example, this is a friend group. This is like one person that you could have been really close with in this friend group. You could have called this person like a really close friend. Person could have been like a brother or sister to you. And now this person is kind of like going against you, but it's kind of like low key, but it's high key. I'm kind of getting like this low key energy, but they're presenting like they're kind of like going to war like high key energy like they're revving up for some of you they could have even stolen your partner or something for some of you i'm getting that like you could have slept with your person i'm sorry i'm sending you a lot of love you may not have known that so I hate giving messages like this, but I got to be real. For some of you, they could have slept with your person. They could have went behind your back and slept with your person or stolen a person from you. Like you could have had your eye on someone and you could have told this person because some of you, you were really close with this person. This person came across as like they were pure. I have to say that like, I don't want this to come across like, like this person was never like trustworthy. This person was trustworthy at one point. Like this person was like someone that you could really trust. But I don't know, they got like, they got compromised or something. I don't, hmm, let's tap in. This is fascinating. This person is a shapeshifter, okay? Because they keep shifting around. And they suffer from anxiety. They're definitely a shapeshifter. And you know what? This person has really changed their look over the last, like, over the last, like, maybe five years or something like that. They kind of, like, I don't know. This person, for some of you, I'm channeling for someone that's, like, they're trying to go to war with you. Like, they're getting people together to go up against you. And I don't want to sound all dramatic with this, but this is kind of feeling dramatic. Like, this person is kind of dramatic. They feel like, and let me relax my face because I feel like I'm getting all. Like, this person, they kind of feel like you have something maybe you're considered the top person i don't know this could be work related for some of you for some of you it's like this person wants your spot or this person wants what you have or this person wants some type of dominance or this person just has this like they want to show you who's top dog for some of you this is past life related and i'd be flat out this is past life related. Like, this is straight up past life. Like, this is straight up, like, they felt like you had, like, they stole your person. For some of you, they stole your person. And you may not even know this. Like, you may not even know, like, like, say, for example, for some of you, this person, like, whoever your person is, you know who you're, you know who I'm talking about. Like whoever that is for you, okay? Like you could have been with this person, this lifetime, past lives, whatever that is for you. But this person like, 
went behind your back and stole this person and like manipulated your person to be with them. Like it was some type of like, like say for example, say for example, like you did something. Like let's just say that like, I don't know. I'm not saying that you cheated on your person. You could have, I don't know, your business, no judgment, okay? But let's just say you did something. Your person was feeling really, like, vulnerable. This person scooped right in. You know, they're shapeshift. This is a shapeshifter, and this is a master shapeshifter. I'm not going to BS you right now. This person's good. Like, I'm channeling. I'm trying to channel them, but they keep, like, they know how to... They know how to move. They know how to maneuver. This person is very crafty. This person is really good at what they do. Imagine if they would use that energy for the light. I'm just saying. They're good at what they do. Like this person, you know what it is? They're really jealous of you and your spot. Many of you are a queen, a king. You know what I mean? Like, you have that thing on lock, you know, like and you operate from that place and that energy. This person is like they're jealous of that and they want that spot. And it's like not only do they want that spot, it's like they felt like they needed your person to prove something or to show that they will take your spot. So they manipulated your person. They scooped in on your person when your person was vulnerable and they made their move. And they were able to be successful with that, okay? But this person, I do feel like they're getting people together to go up against you. Whew, this is past life. This is straight up. Like some of this that I'm saying right now could be past life that I'm picking up on. And it could be translating to modern times now. Like it could be happening here right now. And you know what I'm talking about, but this also happened in a past life. So this is like repeating again for some of you. For some of you, you started off as comrades, friends, like family, and then it, it went in a different direction. And for some of you, again, it's regarding a person, like it's regarding a love interest, like whoever like you feel like you're really connected to or like really in love with. And this person, like I said, they are straight up shapeshifter. Ugh shapeshifter see what i mean i'm really like i keep moving because this person keeps changing they don't like this person does not like for see they're scared of people like me because i can read their energy but i have to say this person's good this person's really good like i would even have to be like okay hold on let me take this this person could trick and fool a lot of people they're very deceptive extremely manipulative like it takes a high level person to pick up on this person most people don't see this most people will be fooled by this okay but this person did start off as a good person they had a lot of purity but they got compromised by the dark Ooh, this is heavy mm, this is heavy let me relax my face. See, I'm, this person, ha they may have something prominent on their face. Like they may have like a, a birthmark or like a scrunched in face or like a, something, a mold, something like that. They may have something really prominent on their face too. This person's a big time shapeshifter. And they like to, they also can steal energy too. They can, um... I'm so happy I got something over my head. Oh my God, this person is dangerous. Oof. All right, let's tap in, okay? Because for some of you, like I said, I have to be honest, this person is trying to go to war. I don't know what this is about. You know, we'll figure that out, but they're trying to go to war with you. I'm not trying to be dramatic, but that's what I'm picking up on. And you know what, this could be, oh, this person could have already started the war with you, for some of you. Like they could have already, like taking shots, like sent out subliminals or, you know, did things thrown it in your direction, like letting you know, like, no, you know what I mean? Like this is war. They've done something for some of you. They've already like drawn this line in the sand. It could be regarding this love interest for some of you. Like for some of you, it's like they knew that you wanted to be with someone or something and they went and scooped in on this person. 
But who is proud to secret hidden enemies? I feel like maybe like you do know this, but you didn't really know to this extent. Yeah, see, this is like someone that you, this is someone from childhood. This is someone that you had a close bond with, someone that you were really cool with. Like you and this person had, you know, and this could be, so this could be a Scorpio, okay? But it doesn't have to be. Um... I'm getting Scorpio Cancer. I'm also getting Aries, um, Virgo, and Capricorn, Sagittarius. Okay, that's what I'm getting so far. This is past life. This is past life. Like, this situation is evolving, involving a past life situation like you've gone to war with this person before i feel like this person has done something to portray you in a past life and they've done something again to portray you this lifetime and now there seems to be some type of like they want to go to war with you again it's something that you have that they want it could be some type of some type of dominance prominence position something like that but they seem to want this from you okay and this person the moon this is hidden they do a lot of things behind the scenes in the dark okay um this person can have a very serious dark side okay and they're very crafty very manipulative again this person is like a magician they're like an illusionary type person they're really good at what they do they keep shape-shifting again it's like I read a little bit, boom, they've shifted into something else. I tap in a little bit more, boom, they've shifted into something else. They have been shape-shifting this entire reading, okay? So this person, they have a lot of dark, hidden energy. Like, you may even see this person, because say, for example, this is like, you are in the same industry as this person. You may see this person out and about. This person's like, hey, you know, what's up? Behind the scenes, this person is plotting and planning against you. And for some of you, it's like they pillow, they were pillow talking with your person, you know, or they did pillow talk with your person to get some of your secrets or to get some information about you. Okay. And your person was telling them about it. All right. That's not for everybody. Um, because for some of you, I'm definitely getting pillow talk. Like your person was pillow talking because your person is super vulnerable. Like whatever if they got, if they were with your person, they were with your person at a very vulnerable time. Okay. This person was extremely vulnerable and this person just needed some comfort. And this person is so crafty. They knew how to scoop in and get into your person's head to get whatever it is that they want. Because this person collects information. This person, um, their collector, okay. They collect stuff on people. They collect secrets. They collect information because this is the type of person that will definitely choose blackmail, okay? They will collect whatever it is that they can find on people and blackmail them or try to extort them for whatever it is that they want. This person is a very crafty individual. This person enjoys games, okay? This person loves to play games. Um... Else. Let's find out because this person I don't want to be in this energy too long. Okay. Aquarius energy now. This person is really good at communication. Okay. So this person, they have a way with communication. They have a way with like, they present again to the world as this person that's like, you, they're very unassuming. You know, most people like that. This is a, for most people, this is a likable person. Very few people know the real deal behind this person. And you may already know this and you may be like, yeah, this person had me fooled, Nicole. I thought that they were this and that. And turns out they weren't. They were not who I thought they were. And, you know, this could be actually a very hurtful situation for you. So I'm sending you a lot of love right now because I do feel whatever this is. And, and let me say this too, that this person is if they're getting people to go against you, it's because of the information that they collected about you. They're using that to get people to team up against you. 
okay and for some of you this person is a very vindictive person so say for example like i'm getting for some of you like this person felt like you betrayed them like you work with their enemy someone that they felt was an enemy okay this person's very um like like something happened for some of you this is not for everyone this is very specific you you like there's some type of like friend group or colleague situation, coworker situation. For some of you, you worked with or you befriended or you were hanging out with or something who this person felt was their enemy. And they felt like this person was straight up an enemy, someone that they felt like, how dare you? Like they felt like, how could you hang out with their known enemy? Like for some of you, this is really serious for them. Like they felt like this person was like, like they, I'm hearing them say, how dare pal to, how dare pal to hang out with my known enemy and think I'm going to let that slide. So something like that, like, again, let me relax my face. Like, <laughs> let me stop. This isn't funny, but I'm just like, every time I'm like, <laughs> every time I'm like, I don't know, like this person, oh my gosh, like, why can I keep moving? I can't stop moving. Like this person can't stop moving. They may be always like on the go. Um, yeah, like they take this, like they feel like you betrayed them. For some of you, they feel like you betrayed them. And now they have to like make you pay for this. But this is again, past life. And for some of you, this is like a group of people. Like there's some type of like, this group going this way, this group going that way. You know, there's no in the middle here, okay? And this person is like, they have something to prove and they want to make everyone feel it, okay? They have an agenda. They feel like, again, like they feel like you definitely betrayed them. And so they've been going out their way to try to like make you pay for this, okay? But again, this is really just, this is, I know that's not what this reading is about, but this is really fascinating for me because I'm just like, well, what turned this person? What made this person go so dark? Because I do feel, especially with, and I know that that's not what this reading is about, but I guess that's just me being very curious right now. This person had a lot of purity. Like this person was really pure. And now this person has gone very dark. Like they're very dark now and they are letting their ego and their personal, because this person feels like they've always been like counted out or something or I don't know. Why are they okay? Why are they jealous of you? This is really, I don't know. This feels like if you're vibing with this, just be careful with this person. And let me just say this right now. Be careful with this person, but also this person is unpredictable, unstable. And also, again, they are getting people to team up against you, okay? So if this is a work situation, be very careful because this person is a collector of energy and information, okay? They have receipts. They have secrets. They love blackmail. That's their thing, okay? They'll pull that out any whatever these receipts are that they have, because for some of you, they do have receipts, okay? I'm not gonna sit up here and sugarcoat this, they do. They have some type of pictures or something like that, or text messages. Um, that's not for everyone, but they do. And so they're trying to get people to go up against you. Why are they jealous of how to? Okay, so some of you, again, it's your relationship, okay? you were in a relationship or you are in a relationship and this person they feel like in order to really stick it to you because that's what i'm hearing this person wants to stick it to you they want to make you feel it they had to go through your person they had to take your person away from you or they had to you know something like that okay like this person um yeah, be very careful with this person. So this person is also a type of person, like I said, this is past life as well. So they may have felt like you always get the best pick, you know, or you get the best partners or you, you know, the person that 
you are with, that's the person that they feel like they have always loved or, you know, they always wanted your person, but you are able to get that person. Something like that, okay? So they definitely are jealous of you, jealous of your partner, jealous of you and your partner, you two together. This person wants to, wants what you have for some of you. Um, and if it's not one specific person, it's just like the partners that you attract because maybe it hasn't been, for some of you, they may have slept with more than one of your partners. I have to be honest. Sorry if this is new information, but I'm channeling what I'm hearing. I'm sending you a lot of love with that. So it could have been like multiple people. Like every time you get a new partner, they're going behind your back sleeping with that person. Or if they're not sleeping with that person, they're trying to like, get that person to get their like they're trying to get that person's attention they're trying to do things to like flirt with that person or like you know what i mean they want that person to pay attention to them why are they jealous of how to this person is like deeply jealous though like whatever this is this is like they feel deeply betrayed by you and they feel very jealous of you and this person could be unstable i have to say that again like they have like this the way they present to the world is not the way that they are behind the scenes, okay? Okay, yeah. See, for some of you, they're jealous of you because of your main character energy. You know, you come across as that main character and you're very confident. You stand in your confidence. You love yourself. You know who you are. For some of you, like I said again, this could be a situation where this is like, you're in the same industry as this person or you work with this person. Could be a friendship, but also you've worked with this person before too. So they feel like you get the shine. Some of you are very attractive here. You're very good looking. People pay attention to you. You automatically have those eyes on you. You don't have to try. You dress well, you present well, or you know, you have your own style, or you know, you just look good, you know, and this person they have to, you know, curate their own look or they have to try to create their own identity. They're not just that, you know, instant attractive person. They have to create that, you know, because again, this person has magician energy. So they know how to create illusions. They know how to do things to look better than what they really look like. I'm not saying that they look bad. I'm not saying that at all, but they had to curate that main character energy if they have that. I do feel like they've stepped into that because for some of you, this person is an energy harvester, meaning they steal energy from people to ignite them, to pump them up, to create whatever it is, this image that they want to be. For some of you, they want to look like you. This is a bit, you know, kind of sicko in that way. Like they want to be just like you or they want to look like you or they, they want your style. Or something like that. Let me change my battery. My battery is about to die. So this definitely says this person is an energy harvester. Like when their battery gets low, they have to go around and steal energy from other individuals to charge them back up. And that's another reason. This is sick. That's another reason why they wanted your person because they wanted like your energy. Person's sick. Like some of you may be like, Nicole, what are you talking about? You're going way out. I'm telling you, like, I'm telling, like, this is a sick person. Like they wanted, they wanted to be with your people because they wanted your energy. This person, like, and I'm not trying to just like you go know, too far out there with this, but for some of you that you I know what I'm talking about, all right? Like. We're not going to sit up here and play like you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying. Like, you know what I'm talking about for some of you. you If you were resonating with this, you get what I'm saying. For some of you, this person definitely, like, they went after your person or the people that you date. It may not just be one person. It could be multiple. Or they slept with your person or they slept with people that you have dated, too, because they want to, like getting your energy like they want to like feel like that person feel like that man feel like that girl the woman you know feel like you know they want to feel what you feel or they want they want for um they want to be like you so they feel like they have to you know be with your person or the people that you like in order to be like you
okay, let's move this along because I don't want to be in this energy too much longer. I have to be honest. All right, let's, why are they, what else do you need to know before we move on to how can you protect yourself, okay? Because I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I've been like dropping a lot of tea here. Or maybe you knew this already. I don't know. Maybe you did. Because this is a lot. Like this person, and again, this is past life, but I feel like what's happening right now i'm picking up on past life but i feel like i'm picking up on your current situation right now and you may be kind of like well nicole i don't know pay attention because i do for many of you this is right here right now but this is also again correlating to your past life so there's something here with this person wanting like choosing to become your enemy because of jealousy because of anger um some type of resentment that they may have toward you. Um, something, again, it's like many of you have that main character energy where you don't have to try to get attention. Attention just comes to you. But this person, you know, they have to create that for themselves. Like they have to create that buzz. They have to curate a look. They have to curate a vibe. You are the vibe. You know, Pal 2, you don't have to do anything. You're just the vibe. This person has to create a vibe. You know, they have to create that buzz around them in order to get people to pay attention to them. Like you may be the type of person that people just are very attracted to you. You know, people want you, people want to be around you. Platonically, romantically, it doesn't matter. This person on the other hand has, again, they have to create that. And they create that through illusions and anything else. What else do you need to know about this person or these people? I feel like, again, there's one person that is the ringleader okay the, that is creating it's getting other people on board to go against you it's the main person like if this main person was not you know having an issue with you um the other people wouldn't they wouldn't be like trying to go against you like they would be cool like these other people are following this person okay this person is like the leader of this war, this they're trying to build against you. Because these other people, I feel like they don't even really want to be a part of it. Because for some of you, like these other people, they're cool with you. Like they like you. They they don't want to go up against you. But this other person is creating illusions around like how two is doing this or how two is saying this or like they're really creating um and I'm so sorry for some of you. Like, I feel like this is hurtful. I'm so sorry. I really am I'm sending you so much love because I feel like, again, there was a close connection with this person. Um, they're kind of like the illusions that they're creating around you. They're saying like, you're dishonest, you're a liar, you are arrogant, you are just for yourself, you're not for other people, um, you're childish, you're foolish, irresponsible, um, I'm also hearing something to the, like, something about, you're all about the money. Um, you don't mean what you say. You're not honorable. Things that are, I just feel are not true. So, um, what else you need to know? Yeah, for, this is work related for some of you. You know, for many of you, I feel like this is work related. So just, if you're hearing rumors on the job or rumors about, you know, you know, things work related, even if this person doesn't work at the same company as you or work in the same place, like this is connected to your work situation somehow. So just be very, be very aware of the type of things being said about you in the workplace and, you know, what is going on in that, you know, and just like, let your work shine through, you know, you know who you are, be grounded in your own truth, but just know that you may have some friction in the workplace because of what this individual is doing, okay? And um, yeah, some of you, this could have been like a mentee, like you were mentoring this person, um, or you, you know, you were the one coaching this person, teaching this person, you were the one kind of like guiding this person, like this person may have learned a lot from you, how can you protect yourself? How can you protect yourself? Okay, dog. So, you know, if you have a dog, your dog is serving as a 
um, protective energy for you right now, okay? Some of you have a dog, and this dog is providing that light of protection around you, okay? So, you know, that's just a, that's just a message. I'm also getting a, um, you have a dog here, but you also have a um, eagle here as well, or a hawk, an eagle and a hawk protecting you. So how can you protect yourself? Um, with this companionship here, it's almost like a message of like, what is that saying? Keep your friends close and enemies closer. Something like that, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. I'm channeling. When I get in this place, I can't remember things all, sometimes. Those type of things. This is saying that... Okay. It's like you got to reverse psychology with this person. It's kind of like... This person is good at what they do. They're good at shape-shifting. We've talked about that, right? But this person desires to be wanted, like needed. They have a wounding around like feeling a part of something, feeling like they were chosen to be a part of something, something like that, okay? They have wounding around that because this person deals with a lot of rejection, especially romantic rejection. Like this person gets rejected a lot romantically, believe it or not. I don't know if you know that or not, but this person deals with a lot of that. So you kind of have to play the game with this person. Like, you know what it is. You know what's up. You know the game. You know that this person has their own agenda. But you kind of have to act like... You kind of have to act like you're still kind of cool with this person. And listen, I already know that's not easy. All right? That is not easy. It's not easy to come across like, I'm cool with you, but I don't really F with you. Okay? But for some of you, you've got to learn how to play the game with this person in a way where it's like... You are kind of like, you're going to have to learn how to control some of those emotions. And again, that is not easy. It's not easy to pretend, okay? Because we're not here to pretend, right? But it's kind of like, you kind of have to play it like, like, you know, like you could say what's up to them or I'm not saying be fake and phony, but you kind of have to do what you feel necessary. Like you kind of have to play the game. It's like, you're not coming across as like this big time enemy with this person. It's kind of like you're being guided to play it cool. Play it cool and kind of like let things, like let this energy show you where this is going to go. Because for some of you, this person, even though they want to go to war with you, they're actually afraid of you because they're afraid of your power. It's kind of like they know that they have to get people on their team in order to go to war with you. Like they know they have to have people behind them. They can't go to war with you by themselves because they know that they're not gonna win. So you will go toe to toe with this person, just you. But this person knows they need people because if they went toe to toe with just you and them, they're not gonna win. So you're gonna have to kind of play the game, whatever that looks like for you. It's gonna be different for everyone. How can you protect yourself? change continue to change like continue to transform some of you you may be guided to go work somewhere else to go move in a different direction to go do some different things you know continue to transform yourself outside of the situation especially if like you get guidance to go work somewhere else to go do something else to you know move in a different direction okay and because for some of you, you're going to be guided to do that in order to really separate yourself from this individual. Because I feel like for many of you, it's like a thing where, you know, you don't even want to, like for some of you, this is child's play. You know what I mean? Like you have, like you have other things that you want to deal with. Like you have other things that you want to do. Like you don't want to sit up here and have to deal with this with this person but this person wants to suck you in because they want your energy they want what you have so it's kind of like if you change direction if you move things in a different direction this person's gonna kind of melt off your timeline they're gonna kind of go away it's like the universe is gonna start moving you 
outside of that where you're no longer really connected with this person but it may require you to make some changes in order for that to happen how can you let's get some how, one more how can you protect yourself yeah cycles this is about learning the lessons there's some type of lesson that this person is teaching you through this situation and it's something about your purity again because this person has gone dark remember we talked about with that first card that this person has a lot of purity or had a lot of purity this person had a lot of wisdom this person still does have wisdom but they've gone dark you know they've gone on the dark side this person is teaching you about your purity your divinity and something that you need to heal within you maybe it's about having better boundaries maybe it's about you know having that like I definitely feel like it's about boundaries, but I definitely feel like it's about just the way that you handle situations. Like this person presented some red flags in the past, but I do feel like for many of you, because you did have this, like, you know, you, you like this person, you know, this person was like a friend to you or brother or sister or whatever. You overlooked certain things. And so this is like the universe saying, pay attention to individuals like this. Like, be very grounded. Be very mindful. What is this person teaching you? What is this person trying to show you? Are you being too trusting? Were you too trusting? Were you not protecting yourself properly? Things like that. Like there's some type of lesson here to be learned. So this does not um, repeat itself because again, this is past life related. So this has happened in a past life where this person was able to manipulate you or deceive you or do things to kind of like, you know, do things to kind of, um, you know, that for some of you, this is really deep, okay? Like for some of you, this is more than one past life. And it's like this person, you and this person have been friends and then you've gone to enemies, you know, family into enemies more than a few times. And so there is some type of repeated cycle here that you're being guided to break, okay? And that's gonna take some soul searching, okay? Because this is gonna be different because for some of you, this is very deep, okay? Let's get some affirmations for you. I receive everything the divine has for me. So like I said, for some of you, there will be guidance to move in a different direction. And that may be something that you may not be trying to do right now, but this is about you being open and you being receptive and allowing yourself to receive what is available for you, okay? Allowing yourself to be open to receiving, whether this is knowledge, wisdom, downloads, um, material things, you know, opportunities, things, and being open and flexible. I am rooted in unconditional love. So continue to root yourself in that unconditional love. Love yourself. You know, don't go through this whole thing of like, you should have paid attention to this or you should have saw this or you should have known this. Like, don't do that. You know, everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. But now you know. Now you know. And now you know who you're dealing with and, you know, how to move forward. You may not know all the answers about moving forward, but it'll come to you. So be open and continue to love yourself because this is tough. This feels like a deep betrayal. And the thing is, it's like it's exacerbated even more because it's from past lives. Because it's like, if things don't get healed from these past lives, it just carries over. It's still there. It's still in our Akashic, but something will happen because it's some type of cycle that keeps repeating. And then it's like, okay, that needs to be healed. That needs to be handled. So, you know, root yourself in unconditional love. Wealth follows me. See, you're wealthy. This person knows that. They know that whatever it is that you do, you're wealthy, you're abundant, you're rich, you're attractive, main character, royalty. You have it. You're chosen. You are loved. You are favored. You are blessed. Walk in your protection. I love you. If no one told you they love you today, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being here. Thank you for loving yourself, honoring yourself. Love yourself, honor yourself, cherish yourself. Be kind to yourself, nurture yourself. Be very patient with yourself right now as you are healing and breaking the cycle with this person. Walk in your protection. You are loved, valued, protected. I love you. I'll see you next time.
Hi, Pal 3. Welcome. Welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love experience. Oh, welcome back to the capital of Loki tribe. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself, healing yourself, loving yourself, honoring yourself. My name is Nicole. You chose Snow Leopard. Okay, let's tap in. So this person, who is your secret enemy? Uh, this person could be born in, excuse me. Ooh, <clears throat> excuse me. Okay, this person could be born in January. This person could be born in May. This person could be a life path one, life path five. This person could be a Capricorn, Aquarius, or um, Taurus, Gemini. This person's sneaky, okay? This person has a sneaky energy. They're very strategic. Uh, they like to watch. This person can be very obsessive. This person, they're definitely a watcher. They're, they're also like, they like to watch you. They like to pay attention to you. They like to watch the things that you're doing, the things that you're, um, like the things that you post on social media. They're definitely very paid attention to, they pay attention to you they're tuned into you they're also for some of you i'm hearing notifications so they have notifications about the things that you post okay um this person is very analytical this person is very smart um again very strategic you know what this person i'm feeling like this person may be for some of you this could be a mother this could be your mother for some of you, this could be a sister, a brother. I'm also getting like um, cousin. And I'm also getting like, like this person could be like someone you were friends with or someone like you knew, like they were a friend of a friend. Like they were a friend of like your ex-lover or, you know, they were, a friend of your friend or something like for some of you this could be five people for some of you it doesn't have to be but like this person's really sneaky so it's like for me this is saying they presented as something that they really weren't like they presented as someone that was like really nice and kind and like really liked you but they were really jealous of you the whole time okay like for some of you, this could be, again, like a friend of a friend or like this is your ex-lover's friend. And so say, for example, like this is your ex-lover's friend, like this could be a person that like say you're feminine and you were in a relationship with a masculine. This is like your masculine's like it could have been like a female friend of your masculine. And so this person could have been like this masculine's like childhood friend or like this masculine's best friend but this person really wanted the masculine like this female was presenting as if like they're just a friend but they really wanted the masculine and so they were sabotaging you and sabotaging your connection like the whole time or something like that for some of you um but this is like a friend of a friend this could have been a situation where it's like you and this friend were really close and this other friend got jealous and they did things to try to sabotage your friendship with this person they were extremely jealous like they're very jealous of you and like your energy and they watch you they watch you in secret like you could be removed from this friend group and this person's still watching you okay like they still have their eye on you um which is kind of weird because for some of you like you broke up with this person and this again this friend of a friend is still just like paying attention to you like they're still jealous of you they still have a problem with you if this is like a co-worker situation because that could be the case for some of you this could be like a group of co-workers here and you know you have left this job and they're still watching you you know you have completely removed yourself from this job and they still have their eye on you let's uh find out Okay, um, 
who is jealous of pile three or who are the secret enemies see this is a lot of jealousy here okay because i keep wanting to say jealous so there is a lot of jealousy here pile three okay and like i said i feel like for many of you you have removed your energy from this situation whatever this is okay and it's like these people are still zoned in on you okay they're still paying attention to you like you're no longer with that lover or you're no longer at that job or you're no longer with that friend group but this person or these people are still have their eye on you and they're still like hating on you who is probably three secret enemies okay queen of wands yeah again this person if this is not a feminine energy here this is someone with a lot of feminine tendencies or feminine energy within them they kind of like because i am getting for some of you this is a masculine um but they have more of that feminine energy okay um regardless of their you know we don't need to go into that but this person may present as a masculine they are a masculine but they're really like more of a dominant feminine energy and they have a lot of feminine tendencies but this is like distorted feminine it's not divine feminine you know this person is like a distorted feminine energy so this person is manipulative this person is again they're very strategic and you know what i'm gonna tap into like why they're still keeping their eye on you because what i'm getting here again is like you are no longer in the equation like whatever this person you know, it kind of worked itself out. This person kind of felt like they wanted you to go away or this group of people, they wanted you to be out of the picture. So I'm getting ready to tap into like, why are they still zoned in on you? Because it's like, you don't care. Like you've moved on. I don't know why, okay. Why are they still paying attention to PAL 3? And I do feel that for many of you, like many of you have moved on, but they're still watching you and they definitely watch you we see here with this card it says the watcher and you see the eyes you know this person could have blue eyes or they have like hazel eyes or something like that or it could be just something prominent with the eyes but you know for some of you you know they have notifications on for your social media so they definitely are very dialed into you why are they still watching the lovers for some of you this okay all right, I gotta be honest here. This could be like a same sex thing for some of you, okay? This could be, I'm not saying that you are into same sex, but I'm saying that this person has some type of same sex attraction to you. That's not gonna be for everyone, but for some of you that is the case, okay? There may have been some type of hidden same sex attraction here for some of you. For some of you, again, and this person could be a Gemini. Um, this person is like they wanted your person okay they wanted your person they wanted to sabotage that connection they wanted to for some of you this person lied on you you know like they lied and said that they saw you like they told your person like say for example they said things to your person like you were a liar or you were manipulative or you were a cheater well, you know, they were saying things about you that were really weren't true, but your person believed this person, okay? Because like I said, this person is someone close to this friend or romantic partner or a coworker situation, whatever this is that was sabotage, because I do feel that there was a breakdown of a relationship here, okay? And even though there was a breakdown in a relationship, I'm feeling like it was for the best, but you know, things had to happen. But this person, like they, your person or your friend trusted this person, trusted what this person had to say, trusted whatever this person told them. So with them telling them stuff about you, this person just believed them. They didn't even, you know, your person may have brought it up to you like, hey, you know, so-and-so said this, so-and-so said that. And it was like, they really didn't give you a chance. They just believed this other person. And, you know, they kind of like, they may have even turned against you. I do feel that for some of you. Like, you could have been in a relationship where things got volatile in this relationship because of what this person was saying behind the scenes, okay? Ooh, this is a lot. Okay, what... <laughs> 
this person is also why okay why are these people so if this is a mother this or a family member this person did not they sabotage your relationships or they sabotage your friendship or they sabotage your romantic relationship because they didn't want to see you happy or they didn't want to see you with this person but they just had their own agenda they wanted to you know ruin whatever you had going on in your friendships or in your romantic relationships so this person has you know and they have a way with words okay they have a definite way of words and whatever this person says people believe people trust okay so you really didn't stand a chance against this okay because for some of you this person made up elaborate lies i have to be very honest like this enemy, they made up a lot of lies about you and told your person this stuff. And your person may have even taken it out on you. Like I'm getting for some of you, things got very destructive with this friendship or this romantic relationship or this work situation after this person told lies about you to this person. What else is going on here? What, what else is going on? What else does Paltry need to know? What else is going on here? Okay, Aries energy. Okay, so you could be an Aries or this person is an Aries here. Okay, so what I'm hearing is, is this had to happen because you were being guided to have a new start. You know, the universe wanted to pull you out of this situation, whether it was work, a friend group, a relationship. Like, it was going to happen. Okay, somehow you were going to get pulled out because this was not a healthy situation. It's very toxic. This energy is very toxic. But... The way it happened, it didn't have to go down like that. And for some of you, again, there were lies said about you, okay? And I'm hearing that you will receive justice. You will receive justice. So if it's a situation where, you know, this is about a romantic relationship where your person was believing those things that this person told them, it's going to come back around that they're going to know that that person lied to them. And that that was not true. Those things that this person said were not true. Because for some of you, this person was really manipulated by this other individual. Why did they Why did they spread these lies, okay? Why did they do say the things that they did? See, they wanted you to be, with this Ten of Wands here, they wanted you to be the person that, like, they wanted you to suffer, okay? Um... They wanted you to suffer. Like they wanted you to hold those. They wanted you to be burdened. They wanted you to feel overwhelmed. They wanted you to feel the breakdown. Because like I said, this person has a way with words. So it's almost like whatever it is that they said to your person or this friend or whatever, it was like they knew how to charge this person up. Like this person is very manipulative. So it was like they said things to put a battery in this person's back and that made this person like explode on you or just kind of like, you know, go off or, you know, just made this whole situation explode. OK, and it's like they really wanted you to feel the pain. They wanted you to be burdened. They wanted you to, you know, suffer like you see this person like he looks like he's suffering. That's what they wanted. Like, they wanted you to suffer. Why do they want Pal 3 to suffer? This is really like, like, what the hell? <laughs> what is going Every reading has been wild today. Like, all three readings. Like, this is wild. Why do they want Pal 3 to suffer? Because I am getting that, like, you could care less about this person. Like, even if this is, like, a family member, like, I'm not saying you don't care about them, but... It's like, why are you trying to sabotage Pile 3? Like, why did they, why did they do this? Because many of you see this person is just jealous. You know, they're jealous of your energy. They're jealous of your style. They're jealous of the things that you do, the way you move. Some of you have just like this beautiful body. They were really, like, they wanted you to suffer. For some of you, this is, like, revenge. I have to be honest. Like, you betrayed them or you did, they felt you did something to them and they wanted to get you back, okay? So, for some of you, it's, like, they felt betrayed by you and so they wanted to make you suffer. 
and this is a situation where it's like this is a friend group a work situation romantic relationship like i said for some of you this person was jealous of the attention that you were receiving jealous of your energy jealous of this relationship because for some of you the romantic relationship or this friendship was very solid like or you know it seemed to be solid like it seemed like things were good or things were moving in the right direction or things would have been really good like there could have been a thing where you and your person were really connected then all of a sudden things just collapsed you know like and you may have been feeling like what happened like how did it go from here to there okay and this person sabotaged it okay and you know they have a serious like but they still watch you they still like they're still why are they still focused on part three because they're still very focused on you okay two cards eight of wands and seven what is the seven of cups this person wants to see what you're doing they want to see what you're up to they want to see like they think about you like i said for some of you this person is obsessive okay and it's like they pay attention to you to see what you're up to to see what you have going on um to see what's happening new in your life how things are going for you um and for some of you like if this is again friendship romantic relationship they're still friends with your person or your friend and it's like they hate when your person talks about you. Like your person, for some of you, your person gets drunk and talks about you. And it's like, this person hates it. Like they hate that like your person is still, you know, on you or, you know, your person, cause they see that your person still desires you. This person still wants you. But like I said, the universe wanted to move you away from the situation regardless. Like maybe it just wasn't a healthy situation or it just wasn't going to serve your highest good. And so something was going to happen regardless. But this person really helped to sabotage things. What else? What else is going on here that Pal 3 needs to know? What else? Message. For some of you, this person could have like sent you messages. Like for some of you, I'm getting like, this person messaged you like they pretended to be somebody else and they messaged you or they they've messaged you in the past like perpetrating to be someone else like this person this person has like this weird obsession with you I have to be honest like there's some type of weird obsession that they have with you um because this I'm not getting like we see they wanted you know some of their motives but it's kind of like it's not really clear why they're obsessed with you. Why are they obsessed with Pal 3? Like, it's weird. It's weird how they're really, because I feel like this obsessive energy, but it's not clear on why they're really obsessed with you. I mean, you may know, but let's get some more clarity. Distant horizons. I feel like it's because they see you elevating. They see you moving forward. They see you doing your thing. They see that it's like you're continuing to progress. And they're very like curious about you. And they're also just like, they wanna see what else you're talking about, what else you're doing. And like I said, for some of you, they hate how the people or this person still talks about you. Like they cannot stand it. They cannot stand it, they can't take it. Um, it really like gets them going and for some of you it's like they they watch your stuff to send you the evil eye like you know they purposefully look at your stuff on social media to send you that dark energy to you what else do you need to know poverty this person is struggling with their money they're struggling with finances and if this is not money I do feel like it's money for many of you if this is not money this is like they're struggling with their mental health or their emotional health or they're just struggling okay they're having some they're having some challenges they're having some serious challenges for some of you it's custody issues for some of you it's um like you're dealing with an unwanted pregnancy or unexpected pregnancy or something like that for some of you it's like they sabotage your relationship with your person and that person still doesn't want them 
like that person may use them for sex or something like that because I do get for some of you they may have been you know intimate with that person but it's like they use them for that but they don't want like a relationship with that person it's like it's just transactional you know what I mean and it's like that your person is still into you like your person still wants you okay but this person wants to go deeper with that person but this person refuses for some of you this person struggles with depression they struggle with anxiety um for some of you this is like they're struggling with things like they're struggling with paranoia they're struggling with like um like they sometimes they don't know they're not in tune with reality this person could be very out of touch with reality for some of you. How can you protect yourself? Okay. Continue to heal from this connection. Continue to forgive, heal, and, you know, unravel yourself from this connection. Like, even if you really didn't have a connection with this person. This person has, like, throat chakra issues, okay? Even if you really didn't have a connection with this person, heal from whatever the connection is that you have with the person that was in the middle or you know whatever that is the work situation the friend group heal from it because the more you heal from this you release yourself from this see this person still has their eye on you because they want to you know for some of you it's a situation they don't understand how your your person or your ex friend or whatever ex person is still so caught up on you so they study you to kind of like you know, getting your energy to kind of like um, be like you. You know, it's kind of weird, but that's what I'm getting. Like they study you. They study what you talk about because for some of you, like they know that they know what attracted you to this person or what your person was attracted to. For some of you, it's the things that you talk about, or for some of you, it's like your looks, whatever. So it's like they study you to kind of like be more appealing to your person. A lot of this is about winning your ex-friend, ex-person, or, or something like that over. You know, they want that. How can you protect yourself? Secrets. There's some more secrets here. Okay, and for some of you, these things are going to be revealed very soon. Two days, two hours, two weeks, within the next two months. You're going to have more clarity here. This is more clarity coming in for you. Like, you may not have even known that this person was spreading lies about you, spreading rumors about you. Um, you may not have even known, like, again, what really happened in that relationship. You know, things just collapsed, but you didn't even really know what really went on. And so you're going to get more clarity because the truth, the clarity that's going to come in for you is going to help you to heal and really release this. I'm not saying that you haven't released this because I do feel for many of you, you have detached, but there may be some more that needs to go, but that truth is going to allow you to let it go. Like once that truth comes in, you can really separate and like really cut those cords and really be done with the situation. It's almost like the universe is going to give you the truth so you can really just cut everything off and move in a different direction. But you need certain information to be able to do that. So there are going to be some more things revealed to you. So just be very grounded and present so you can you know, know what is coming through, know that, you know, be able to receive that information in a grounded way. You can be very mindful with this information, you know, things like that. Okay. The more this information comes through, the more grounded you are with this information, the more you can receive it and do whatever it is that you need to do with this information in order to move forward and, you know, really you know, get the justice you deserve because some of you, you are owed justice after this because of the type of secrets and lies and sabotage that this person tried to bring into your life. Okay. Um, yeah. One more, anything else that Pauper needs to know? Yeah. Okay. With this tiger here, you may have a tiger spirit animal right now. 
And this is saying that continue to strengthen your willpower and know that you have the will, you have the courage, the bravery, the focus to overcome anything and to move forward. And, you know, you are courageous. You are victorious in this situation. Like, you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing. You know, you're moving forward. You're not stuck in that low vibrational situation with those secrets and those lies and that, you know, these people that want to sabotage. You're not. So just continue to move forward in a graceful way. And you have, you know, the power to overcome anything. Okay. Let's get some affirmations for you. Wow. That deck just fell. See, like, this person completely, like, tried to sabotage you or they did sabotage you i mean they really didn't you know the things that they tried to do but they really i see that i feel that for some of you they really tried to bring that destruction in and really said a lot of lies about you and a lot of things that just were not true but you will get your justice that's just goes to show justice is coming i have amazing vision so keep honoring your vision your intuition you know, your clairvoyant abilities. These things are continuing to strengthen. Trust yourself. Trust what you hear. Trust what you see. Trust what you feel. Trust your intuitive abilities, your intuition especially. This is um, becoming more heightened for you right now. So just trust it. Trust exactly what you feel and the energy you feel. I feel so good. Continue to honor yourself love yourself feel good the more you feel good the more you attract what you deserve continue to know that you're worthy you're deserving you're loving you're valuable you know your self-worth and feel good about yourself and feel good about where things are moving in your life let's get one more i am open to peace yeah continue to be open to peace honor peace honor the truth when this truth comes in for you this clarity the secrets that are going to be revealed, this is going to bring a lot of peace to you because this is going to be a part of your justice. It's going to really allow you to move forward and really cut the cords here. So be open. Be open to this information because this information is leading you to peace. So if no one told you they love you today, I love you. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for showing up for yourself, loving yourself, love yourself, honor yourself, cherish yourself, be kind to yourself, continue to do the things that you were doing, heal yourself, have that empathy, compassion, and nurturance for yourself so you could share that energy with the world. Continue to shine your light so bright. Thank you for being you. Thank you for showing up for yourself. I love you. I'll see you next time.